Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based in Adobe Photoshop, and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I want to do today, guys, is show you how you can easily create the overlap design within Adobe Photoshop. A really cool idea and a really simple idea that you could use across many forms of design, ranging from Instagram posts, fronts of magazines, posters, a really cool idea that you can implement. And obviously what I want you to do is to take the steps that I show you today, introduce them into your workflow, and I guarantee you'll be able to create some really cool pieces of work. Okay, so first of all, with the move tool, I'm just gonna select that top layer there. Let's just press backspace to remove it. And we're gonna start off our original image. Now, what we need to do is first of all, get a color of um, the overlap design. So what I'm gonna do is use an adjustment layer here of solid color. Now, obviously you can choose and decide upon what kind of color you want to, uh, to achieve. But in this particular instance, I wanna go for a real sort of dark red maroon kind of color like so. Okay, so now what we need to do is to make uh, our uh, letter or number. Obviously, you can choose between what letter or number you would like, but in this instance, I'm gonna go for a number of three. So I'm gonna use our type tool here. Just come onto the artboard and click. Let's press backspace, and there's my number three. Now I could increase the size of the uh, number here via the character window, but what I wanna do is manually create myself. Okay, so I'm just gonna click onto the move tool. I'm going to use a keyboard shortcut of Command T for Mac users or Control T for Windows users. Make sure you're on the layer as well would help. There we go. And I'm going to use another shortcut of Option for Mac users or Alt for Windows users and resize from the center point. Get to a point like so. Now, I just want to double make sure that this is aligned perfectly. So use your alignment tools, which are simply situated at the top of the screen. Make sure you click your three dots and make sure you're aligned to the canvas. And it's aligned horizontally center and vertical center. And you can see there's just those tiny little movements there um, to place that perfectly. Okay, so the benefit of adjustment layers are is that they apply a layer mask to them. Now, what I can do is reselect the type layer. Just come into the layer thumbnail and press command click for Mac users or control click for Windows users. And as you can see, I've reselected that um, letter, uh, that number there. And if I come to the layer mask, I'm going to apply the color black with inside of this um, number. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut shift backspace to bring up our color options. And I'm going to use the color black here to fill it in like so. And press OK. Now you can't see anything at the moment because we need to switch off that top type layer there. And now we can see the overlap coming through. Now I'm just gonna quickly deselect using the keyboard shortcut, Command D for Mac users or Control D for Windows users. Perfect. You can even remove that top layer now and press backspace. And now we've got our overlap. But what we need to do is really create a sense of depth um, between the image and uh, the number. And the best way for you to do that would be applying a drop shadow to the top layer. So how do we apply a drop shadow? We do it through our layer style options. Very simply, if you just double click the layer, that will bring up your layer style options here. And the option that I would like to be using is what we call a drop shadow. Perfect. And obviously with the benefit of the drop shadows, you're able to manipulate it just to get a point and where you're happy. Like so, maybe I'm going to pass it a little bit there. Go for a normal blending mode. You can even change the color. Like so. Mess around with it get it to the point and add uh, distance or spread or the opacity just to get it perfect for where you want it. And then if you press okay, very simply there, you have created that overlap design. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, please take a look at our website, guys, at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Thank you very much. Take care and I'll see you next time.